Understanding B2C Sales, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss, which is B2C sales. This is a term you might have heard in business contexts, and it's important to understand what it means and how it's used. So, let's dive right in and learn about B2C sales together. B2C stands for Business to Consumer. In this context, a business sells its products or services directly to individual customers rather than to other businesses. The sales part of B2C sales refers to the transactions and interactions that happen between the business and the consumer. Examples of B2C sales include retail stores, online marketplaces, and restaurants. When you go to a shopping mall and buy clothes from a store, you are part of a B2C transaction. Similarly, when you order a book online and have it delivered to your home, you are engaging in B2C sales. B2C sales often involve emotional decision-making. Consumers may purchase products based on their feelings, desires, or personal preferences. B2C transactions are typically quick and the amounts spent per transaction are usually lower than in business-to-business -business, B2B sales. Marketing in B2C sales is also consumer-focused, aiming to catch the consumer's attention and persuade them to make a purchase. This can involve advertising, promotions, and personalized communication. For English language learners, Understanding B2C sales is crucial, especially if you are planning to work in a business or retail environment. It helps you to communicate effectively, understand the needs of customers, and contribute to the success of the business. Knowing the terminology and the characteristics of B2C sales also enables you to understand market trends and consumer behavior, which are essential skills in today's globalized world. Thank you so much for joining us in today's lesson about B2C sales. We hope this video has helped clarify what B2C sales mean and why they are important in the business world. Remember, understanding business terminology is a great step towards improving your English language skills, especially in professional settings. Don't forget to practice using these terms in your conversations and writing. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning, and have a great day!